What's up, YouTube? Everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Kanzi Beat, and on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to mix an Afro beat. This, of course, was a, a request from one of my subscribers. I'm going to leave his name down in the video so you're going to see it. And then uh, this wasn't what I was supposed to do today, but we, because um, he requested for a mixing tutorial, I was like, I really need to do it, and because I really love y'all and I love the support I'm getting from you guys, you guys are you guys are really supportive of me. So guys, uh, if you know you're new to the channel, make sure to go down there, like this video, give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can get notified for my next video because I'm going to a whole lot of videos for you guys. I'm going to give you 3 seconds to do that, 3, 2, 1, let's just get to today's video. So guys, hey. there are 4 major things that I think are important when mixing your beats. The first thing is having quality sounds from good drum kits, of course like my drum kit, my Spice drum kit volume 1. Uh, if you you know get quality drum kits you know it's gonna help you has that has quality sound not just uh, by name it has quality sound so if you want to support me make sure to go down in the description and follow the steps to get my drum kits and then number two the second thing is you have to find your comfort zone you have to find what's good for you if you're good if you know you, you want to um, if you feel good mixing your beats on headphones you have to stick with that if you feel good mixing your beats on speakers whatever is good for you is that you know you have to do it you don't have to keep um, switching um, different you know keep switching from speakers to headphones every time you know it's just gonna mess you up I know some people can do it you know it's, you know but I for for starters you just want to find what's comfortable for you find your comfort zone find where you can you know just rest your head and say okay I want to I want to mix on my headphones down the mix on my speakers but for me I personally use my headphones because when I started I had my headphones and that was all I used so I'm just used to it I might play my beats on the speakers when I'm done mixing I may just you know test it on speakers test it on my laptop speaker you know, test it different places but for starters you have to find what's comfortable for you um, number three is you have to give yourself time you have to give yourself breaks you have to take some break because you don't just want to click on the play button and then let your beats play um, all the time keep you know just you just want to have some time to say okay i want to give my 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 eardrums some time to rest i want to give my brain some time to reset and then come back to the beat play it and then you know pause it a little bit rest you know do other things and then play it you just don't want to keep playing the beat for a whole three four seven ten twelve twenty minutes you want to give yourself some time so you know you can find what's right and what's not right and then the number four and the final thing is you have to have good ears you have to know what's too loud what's too low what's too muddy you have to know what's what you know what's too crispy you have to just know most of the time is people when making trappies people keep their, their hi hats you know let it be um, crispy and then or it has the ch -ch -ch sound so you don't have to know what's good you know when you have good ears i think you can figure that out so guys, for the beat, I made this beat, this collab with Toy Beat. He sent me a, a dope guitar loop, and then I made this beat, just a crazy beat. So I thought maybe why don't I just use this beat for the tutorial? You know, since I just finished making this not quite long ago. So this is the beat, mastered and mixed everything. So I'm gonna play the beat, and then I'm just gonna um, you know set everything back to default, and I show you guys my creative process behind mixing and afro beats so i'm gonna play the beat for you guys to listen toy beats hey you can't see spice that shit up So guys, this is nice. the same beat, but with everything back, everything set to default. Then I'm just gonna show you guys how I mix my beats. There are no rules, mind you. There are no rules to mixing your beats. You just have to, you know, do what feels right, and then 
you know do what's best and what sounds good to you and not just you but to whoever is listening or whoever is going to use your beat so guys there are actually two you know two you know two ways that uh, of which i you know that i can mix my beats the first one is the first thing i started with when i started making beats which is gain staging and then gain staging you have to use let's say uh, limiter you have to use maximus you have to use uh, what's it called a uh, multi-band compressor to you know um you know raise the increase the volume of your beat you know but it's not going to sound muddy you know it's just going to sound you know below zero it's going to sound loud but it's going to be below it's going to be below minus zero and then there is the one of course which you know um top producers out there use in which they will just put a soft soft clipper in the master and then get you know they already have the best sound so they will just make the beats put soft clipper and then just do a little bit of leveling and then send it to an engineer for mastering but since i and you me and you don't have you know we want to do shit ourselves we don't want to send it if you want to send it to uh, to an engineer it's good but for those of y'all that don't have any engineer to send to want to master your beats or mix your beat yourself this is the right way to do it so it's called gain staging so what you have to do is level right here and then you also have to do some leveling leveling right here in your in your um what's this called in your mixer so uh i'm just quickly i'm just quickly going to select where everything is playing where this is where all the instruments are all the melodies playing so what you have to do is you have to start with your first melody which is this which is this guitar loop i have from toy beats shout out toy beats so i'm going to take the volume down a bit and then i added um I did flangos, I did reverb and wider, just gives a little bit of stereo separation. And I want this um, this guitar sound to be a little bit in the background, so I'm just going to take the volume down. And then I added this piano sound. And then this other sound. I think this one isn't too loud you don't you don't you don't you don't um, necessarily need to um, reduce the volume of everything right here this is you, this at this point you just really need to do some average um, mixing it's, this is nowhere this isn't where everything happens you know it's all in the the mixer so this at uh, your channel rack you just need to do a little bit of um, a little bit of reduction of or reducing of volume so but not all sounds some sounds are perfect you just have to reduce reduce the sound that are too loud so i think this one is fine like this all right we're gonna move to the drums start with the shaker this is way too loud i definitely have to take it down a bit this is quiet i might take this up and then this and then I panned it a little bit to the left take this one down a bit oh I think this aren't playing so uh, let's do this. Mm, let's do this one. Mm, my bar was the eighty eight. Okay. And then the eighty eight. Way too loud. You have to take it down so this i think this much will do and then the 
bass. I'm just gonna track the bass to this point. And then uh, all I did was, you know, mess around with the envelope, you know, just to make it sound precise. And then uh, what is I added this this open hat. This hat, this the open hat. Sometimes it sounds like it's the open hat is always like something that complements the sound your beat so you just have to be low it doesn't have to be out there you just have to you know it just have to it has to be in the beat but not out there you know if you know understand what i mean like you just have to take the volume down not too low not too high just there i think this one this much is good yeah and then uh i got the sound Drag this right here. I want this to be like a background something, so I might take this one down. These are, um, you know, um, all these are drum fills with my tag and toy tag. Uh, I think that'll be all for um, that'll be all for this for the channel rack. So what you have to do is you have to move into your mixer. I have to link every all your sounds to the mixer. If you don't know how to do that, what you need to do is select everything, then come to the mixers wherever you want to start from hold control plus shift and click l it's just going to automatically um, link everything individually rename it color with the color and everything it's going to link it to the mixer so um at this point what you need to do is same thing as you did for the channel rack start your sound individually let's take the volume down Uh, I think that that's all for the mixing part. I think I've covered everything. If you want to know more about how to make how to master when you're done mixing i have a video up, um about how to master your beats i'm going to leave the link down in the description so make sure to go check that out just immediately after you, you're done watching this it's just going to help your creative process it's going to help you you know build that that sound you always dreamed of or you always wanted i'm not just i'm not saying you should do exactly as i've done you know you just have to pick one or two learn and then you know try to do new new things you know add it to what you know pick knowledge from different places watch different tutorials and then you know gather all knowledge no knowledge to waste and then you know just put it into your own craft and then that's that's it bro you might be shocked and surprised at you know the outcome of what you've just done so um quickly gonna get everything back to the way it was so this is it. I'm gonna turn on the 808. 
I didn't I did not uh, I did not do okay, sound. Anyways, let's see. I really love to master this beat guys but I, I have this is strictly a mixing tutorial as it was um, requested by my subscriber so um, if you want to know more about mastering I have a video go check that out I think that will be all for today guys thank you guys for watching if you really enjoyed this video make sure to put down like this video a thumbs up uh, like and subscribe you know click on the notification bell so you can get notified for my next video um, I know there wasn't really much um, beat making in this video. I really wanted to, you know, show you guys my creative process behind mixing. I really wanted to make this, um, make this one um, something you guys can, you know, learn from. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. One more thing, go down there, go down to the comment section, drop whatever video you want me to do, or drop whatever question you want me to answer, or drop whatever thing you want to say. Make sure to be positive, guys. You know, we all want positivity. 2020 has been a rough year. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for staying tuned. See you guys next time. Same channel, same everything. Peace.